YouTube? Topaz Yates back for another daily review. And this one is to that Beyonce formation. In which for all of my people out there that watch the Super Bowl, man, this just shows you how much of a marketing genius that Beyonce actually is, you did. Because not only did she just drop this motherfucker, but yet she done performed this at the damn Super Bowl. And now everybody who's anybody knows about this damn track, man. She got paid to perform her new track so she can promote her damn self. It does not get any better than that. On the biggest stage of advertising, she pulled that shit off. And the thing I really liked about this track in particular, man, was that bass. Like, when you heard it through the Super Bowl sound systems and everything, man, you notice, okay, that's really the biggest draw to that beat right there. And then she was singing about some very interesting stuff, like her formation going from her parents who one was Creole, one is from Alabama, in which they created her. Then she jumped into some old black is beautiful type shit, talking about the things that she likes out of her black people and shit. Like, she loved that bell pepper ass nose. She loves the naturalness of her hair and everything, man. And then she starts talking about the things that she will do for her man and such, man. And when she's talking on some shit, like, I could probably get your shit on the radio. Very interesting stuff. But what's interesting about that is, you look at how a lot of black women and shit, how they all act because of that whole feminine this bullshit, how there's strong black independent women that don't need men and all that shit. They don't really understand where that came from. That's the white feminist telling you that you that strong and independent, but yet those white feminists, they never claim that shit. They always support their man all the way, but yet black women who be trying to feed into that shit always want to be combative to their black counterparts. So she's pretty much saying to black women to love yourself to begin with and then go ahead and love black men too. Now overall the song was alright man, I mean I definitely felt as though there was room for progression here, but the way she put it all together was fucking genius. But overall one I would say go ahead and peep out if you haven't heard of it yet, but odds are Everybody heard of this shit, but this concludes today's review. Now we're going to jump into brief instrumental from underground producer Alchemy. Then we're going to jump into the news, and then we're going to jump into an article from downloadpass.com. So Tidal and Rock Nation together put up $1.5 million to donate to Black Lives Matter. And which this kind of goes along with the theme of what Beyonce was doing with the video and everything, man. And which I love the fuck out of that. I love the fact that they're donating, giving back constantly and such, man. My only issue about it is Black Lives Matter isn't really the people to donate to because they have no agenda. They have nothing that they're trying to do, they just do random shit. But anyway, on to today's article, and really the article today, because it's Sunday, is more of a production joint. It's more of the producer of the week, and it's a pretty good one too, man. Malik on the beat, you go ahead, go to downloadpads.com, click on the beats column, and it'll take you directly there. I hope you enjoyed the show. You can follow me at Twitter, up there, and you can go to downloadpads.com, that's down there, to read today's article.